Yo, 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 what's up? What's up, man? This is Tone for Click C for Comics. Big shout out to the C Squad. Um, jump right into it. Are any of you out there familiar with an artist by the name of Ed Pisker? P I S K O R, Ed Pisker. Ed Pisker is an artist, a uh, cartoonist, artist, graphic artist, um, who, um, who, who last year or or so, last couple of years or so, put out a series of graphic novels or comic books or graphic novels or comics, I'm not sure what category to put them in, where he, in a cartoon style fashion, comic book style fashion, he chronicled the evolution of hip hop history. Basically, He's a comic book artist who went out and interviewed all the, the, the legends and pioneers of early hip hop. And he took all his stories and he put them, and condensed them into a comic book format. It came, he, he did a, a series of individual issues that you can still get online. And then, then what he did was that at a certain point he condensed all those stories into these giant, um, you know, you know, giant size, king size uh, comic books. So, all of us Marvel heads remember, and DC heads as well, remember back in the day when Marvel and DC used to create these giant, the giant uh, Marvel Treasury Editions, the big ones. You know, you remember Superman versus uh, Muhammad Ali, Spider Man versus Superman, you know, all them joints. Right, all that, those Marvel Treasuries, those big ones. So he basically took those stories and he made it, he made, he replicated that style of a, of a book and made a hip hop history book called um, Hip Hop Family Tree. So far it's up to four volumes. I understood from what I read a while back in an interview that he, um, he planned on doing eight volumes, but so far I haven't seen volume number five yet. And it takes, I think it takes him, you know, from all the interviews I saw, it takes him a long time to put these things together. But but because of what it takes to to, 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 to take hip hop history and put it into a comic book format and then to make it into a uh, replica of a giant sized Marvel Treasury edition. When I saw that for the first time, it blew my mind. I did a video on that too. Hip hop family tree. And I showed what the books look like. A lot of effort goes into that that work, man. A lot of effort, and it, and it, and it's worth, in my opinion, it's worth it's worth having if you're a comic book collector slash hip hop head, which is I am both. I make sure I I follow him and I make sure I'm I got all his volumes. So recently he had said he went to Marvel and he discussed doing uh, another series just like that on his um, favorite comic book characters. Uh, Marvel comic, I'm sure a lot of them are his favorite, but one of his favorites, come on in baby, it's okay. One of his favorites is um, the X-Men. And this is one of those, what I was telling you about, he, he took the X-Men, the evolution of the X-Men history, and he made this giant Marvel treasury edition. He took the same format. And he made this giant size book of the, um, the, the, the evolution of mutants and the, the mutant uh, mutants and the X-Men. See, it has a little baboon here that is walking on two feet. Then it's like a caveman, the Anthor. Then it's like a soldier with machetes, and now it's a mutant with shooting out his Cyclops shooting out of eye rays. And he's done it in the same format as the giant size treasure. They're nice and big, good quality paper, tough. Hark, uh, nice stiff, you know, cover. The paper is very um, good quality paper, kind of thick, but it's also kind of yellow, like the paper, like the newspaper paper they used back in the day. So it, if you didn't take care of it, it got kind of yellow if you kept it out. So it has that real authentic look, man. This is called the X Men Grand Design by Ed Pisker, and he put this out. And he basically did the same thing he did with the hip hop history coloring books. I mean, the hip hop history. Family Tree editions. He um, 
you know, a chronological, right from the beginning, all the way through, a whole chronological history in a nice condensed format. You know, this was a wonderful read. I think it was a hit, man. Marvel must have loved it. The fans loved it. I know I did. So guess what he blessed us with? Another one, man. Look at this one, man. This is crazy nice. Also, the same quality. Hard, nice, good solid cover, cover. Beautiful uh, cover design, the Phoenix. He's dealing with the whole X-Men saga, man. The whole X-Men, uh, you know, history and saga, man. It's called X-Men Grand Design, Second Genesis, man. And um, it's, if you don't have any of these and you've seen these for the first time, please, yo, know, man, get it. Get it. Put it in your collection, man. It's worth it, man. It's dope, man. And uh, in the back, he's got some nice, you know, graphics. You know, let me show you some graphics here. Let me show you some stuff here. This one I ordered online and it came wrapped. So I'm, I'm unfortunately, I'm not going to crack it open and show you the inside. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to um, go online. I'm sure some other cats have done some very... I've seen detailed videos of this. Where they've um, showed you page by page. Opened it up. And showed it to you. And let you see all the artwork and everything. It's really nice. A lot of detailed writing. The artwork is detailed, man. Look at, look at the time and effort and work he's put into the artwork, man. And this is what I'm saying. That alone makes it collectible because I respect the process of creation. He took time. You, you can tell there's a lot of love, a lot of love in this, man. There's a lot of love, a lot of detail in this. And it's worth it's worth it's worth it, man. And it's that's what that if more than anything, that's what makes it collectible. More than anything. More than anything. That's what makes it collectible. More than anything. Look at it, look at that. Magneto on this side. And look at look at the evolution, you know, the, the comparisons. This is this is time, the, the detail. The old team, when the team changed up, he, he, very detailed artwork, man. You know, worth worth having, bro. So if you don't have um Ed Pisker's X-Men Grand Designs. I think um, if you don't have them, man, go out and get them, man. They're, 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 they're worth every. They're worth it, man. I can't wait to read this, man. I can't really wait to really dig in this, bro. This is gonna be great. All right. So to all the uh, to to the family, I want to say peace and a shout out to the C Squad. Um, everybody have great holidays. The holidays are here now. It's already the Christmas movies are, are popping already. <laughs> my wife and my wife loves Christmas movies. She's killing them right now. I I can't do them. The only Christmas the only Christmas movie I watch every year is um, a Christmas Story. You're gonna shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> Just with the with the PV gun. <laughs> That's the only one I can watch. It's the only one I can stand. And I literally I swear, kid you not. I watch that sucker every single year. I watch it every year without fail. A Christmas story. You're gonna, you're gonna shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best ever. Oh my God. Matter of fact, it makes me want to watch it right now. And let me see what else. That's about it, man. I don't even watch the old ones like Frosty anymore or Rudolph. But even though they're they are close to my heart, man. They were some of my favorites growing up. You know, um, but yeah, that's about the only Christmas story I watch. And of course, I'm gonna, you know, Christmas music. I I don't like the old school traditional ones. I like I like the like the upbeat stuff and I like some of the classics. But the one I most I usually you, you must configure out the one I love the most, right? Chipmunks Christmas. Oh my God! <laughs> I just can't take it. I love it. Can't wait to play. So anyway, that's it for me. That's my ten minutes is up. Yo, go out and get them. If you don't got X-Men Grand Design by Ed Pisco, please go out and get it. Everyone have a nice and safe holidays, and I'll see you at the next video. Peace. C-Squad, collect them all. <laughs>